long considered one of the last cash-based businesses is vending. Will vending always be a cash-based business or will it be a cashless business? I think in the very near future, we're going to see a lot more cashless activity in the vending space. It provides a lot more convenience for customers, customers that are used to shopping on the Internet where you cannot use cash, customers that are used to self-service technology applications, both at the banking level, at the gas pump, and at the convenience store, as well as uh, Home Depot and other shopping channels. I think a lot of things that uh, customers are looking for is to have the same settlement opportunities at vending that they have everywhere else in their life. And as we look at the, the mo uh, most important aspects of vending and what, is a, what has changed to make it more conducive for cashless. I think we have a lot of things that have happened on the machine level. We'll talk about these in detail at the session on April 28th at 1230 at the NAMA in one show. And I invite you to join us when we go through and analyze the 10 reasons, as well as talking about some case studies that have taken place in, uh, by USA Technologies and also MEI. And we'll look at the industry profile, whether you consider it a $20 billion industry or $40 billion a year industry in this country, depending on what's included in the numbers. And we'll take a look at the cost of cashless and the cost of cash. A lot of operators may be surprised that the cost of cash very closely parallels the cost of cashless. What NAM is working to do now is lower the cost of cashless to incentivize people in the vending space to accept cashless transactions. Come learn about this exciting development as well as the development of contactless cashless payment systems and how this is probably is the best opportunity for you and as a vending operator to improve the profits of your company. I invite you to join me on April 28th at 12.30 for the session on cashless vending. You'll hear from some operators who have made it work for them. You'll hear some case study results, as well as listen to the credit and debit card industry representatives on what they can do to help you lower your cost of transactions through cashless vending. Thank you very much.